Here's one of those questions that I saw on an SAT that you might want to skip, but I promise you it's not that bad. Check it out. We got a sequence that is recursively defined by this, where a sub zero equals one, and we got these two functions. What is the value of a sub two? To start this problem, we're going to let n equal zero, and you're gonna see why we did that. That means anywhere you see an n in this equation up here, we're gonna replace that with a zero. So it's gonna look something like this. The reason we did that is because we are given this information right here. So anywhere I see a sub zero, I can substitute it to equal one. So now it's gonna turn into this. And on the left side, zero plus one equals one. So now we got this information, a sub one equals all of this. And once again, all we did was replace the meaning of a sub zero with one because that's what that says. So now we're gonna focus on the function right here. We got the input of one that we're going to replace these x values with. So f of one will equal one squared minus three times one, and that equals negative two. And on the denominator, we're gonna plug in a one in this function, which is just two times one minus three. That equals negative one. Now that simplifies to one minus negative two over negative one, so a sub one is going to equal negative one. However, the question is asking for a sub two. So we're gonna do a similar step like this and we're gonna run through that faster. And this time we're gonna let n equals one. That is gonna help us answer this question right here because if you substitute n equals one, then that is going to get us a sub two. So it's gonna be very similar to these steps. We're gonna replace n as one in this right side of this equation and we're slowly gonna get a sub two. So that's gonna equal two right there. And check out this magic. We have the value for a sub one because we just did it right here. So that's gonna equal negative one minus f of negative one over g of negative one. And once again, we got that information right there. All right, let's simplify this. That's gonna equal negative one. And we are plugging negative one as our input now in the same functions, negative one squared minus three times negative one. That is going to equal four and in the denominator that's going to be two times negative one minus three that equals negative five so now we got negative one minus four over negative five and if you simplify all of that a sub two is going to equal negative one over five letter choice b that is probably harder to explain than do but i hope it made sense and if it did don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode peace